Dudes rock. Um, speaking of Down syndrome communities, so I got, you know, I got us matching uh, Yeti tumblers. Yeah, Nick and I both have Yeti. I got the water coolers. Water bottles. As a celebration for opening the office, I surprised you with the water cooler. It's forty dollars. And two, well, the water cooler was two hundred and thirty dollars. The water cooler, yeah. Also, what, water also, bottles. hold on. What is that? I want to celebrate it. No, but to be like it was forty dollars. No, that's an expensive water bottle. Oh, that's okay. one of the most expensive water bottles you can buy. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, that surprises. And it me. keeps it keeps the water cold for fucking at days. Anyway, so you know they got the chug cap on there, and I left mine on. I love the pour. I love. I left it's got mine a great on. Great pour. It got stuck, and I was like, "Is there a trick to getting this thing off?" Because I didn't want to put it in like a bench <laughs> vice and fuck it up, right? Yeah. And um, and so I Google chug cap stuck. I don't know what I put in, but I found the Yeti cooler subreddit. Yeah. Which has got to be th- just one of the most depressing things I've ever seen in my life. Who is it? Is it like operator kind of guys? Reddit is It's guys that came back from Iraq and now Reddit they're talking is, about wa- water bottles. Reddit is absolute poison. Yeah, it's it's really sad. Well, the fact that it can turn literally anything into a community. Yeah. And like some of them are pretty depraved, like the pimple popping bullshit. Like at least there's probably some kind of sexual thing there. There's like something, something. It's no, it's but, like a oddly satisfying. Posting videos. pictures of Yeti cups is yeah. not. You shouldn't have an account in a community. You can't be like, oh, I got to check out what's going on with my Yeti cup friends. I'm gonna follow Yeti. Yeah. Yeah. So what do they say? They just there? post pictures of the fucking cups. <laughs> They're like, oh, the big weekend today, drinking water. <laughs> <You> got these <laughs> stickers. <laughs> yeah. I got the, the new, and it's one of, they have these like hidden colors. I want to look at you it. You know who's into that is Mike Racine. He was telling me he about it. He loves the Yeti water bottle. He's like, yeah, this is one of the, uh, they have limited colors. Really? That, uh, yeah. That's so gay. <laughs> they only have, they only get, you can only get these colors at certain times. Oh, but it's for Yeti coolers too. Yeah. But it's mostly the cups. But it's most. But I mean, the water bottles are really good. I was the same with David. I want to hear. Here's this. If there's still, if we still have Reddit guys that listen to the show, can you please go? Um, like, uh, what's it called when you? Like, <laughs> this is so sad. Not barricade. What's it called when you like raid a subreddit? Uh, Bombard. There's a yeah. No I don't know. raid. Or, no, uh, b- like a bullet. They have like a bullet. It starts blitz? to be, isn't it? It's not barricade. <laughs> Anyways, go do that to the Yeti Subcooler. <laughs> Someone make the account Mr. Minneapolis, a.k.a. the Las Vegas Kid. <laughs> and just, uh, I like the idea of somebody that's that's just posting on there. Uh, he's like super, super excited, commenting on every post, you know, talking about how much he loves Yeti coolers. And then just post pictures of, of, of you by yourself cheersing no one with a Yeti Rambler with 32 ounces of Jack Daniels in there. A, a toast to kings on this fine Yeti afternoon, getting drunk by myself on the Yeti subreddit. Oh, they just dropped new Yeti sweaters and hoodies. Oh, great. <laughs> that way everyone knows what <laughs> kind of thermos this I drink This is so out of. sad. This guy, the, he said, he's just a fucking tumbler, a yellow tumbler. says, you only graduated paramedic school once. Might as well treat yourself <laughs> with a cup. <laughs> yeah. Right. People are so sad. Mm-hmm. And in the back is it's a little thing that says "Welcome to our home." Yeah. Yeah. My my friend gets his mom these for like every holiday. He yeah. gets her like a new like thing where it's like a piece of wood that's like painted on. That's how you know. That's somebody that never learned how to get gifts for people. And his mom loves them. I went to Christmas with his family once, and he got her one that said, "I love that you are my mom." It was Brian. <laughs> it was Brian. Who's Brian? Brian. Brian P. Oh, okay. Our boy. Yeah. Brian Pinera. Shout out to my boy. Shout out to his mom. Shout out to his mom. I think I'm seeing it. I think he's coming to the show tonight. Oh, he's going to be there tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, come on, everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, guys, we're doing Funny Moms is every, everyone keeps asking. It's every Monday. And I got to push these shows. This is the end of the tour. Fucking Governors this weekend. And then I think Magoobies the weekend after that. Not this weekend. Governors is next weekend. Then Magoobies, and then uh, and then uh, fucking, and then what? Yeah, Cobb's, San Francisco. What is this? Yeti coffee cup in the shower. Great combo. <laughs> Jesus Great combo. Yeah, what are you doing? Dude? Jesus Christ. What the fuck are you doing? 
<laughs> Why do you have to put the just, mask? Just, just, <laughs> just suffer the quiet dignity of being alone. You're dying. Don't try. Yeah. You're dying. Dude, you're not. Like, when you wake up in the middle of the night, you're like, something's wrong. <laughs> know that the answer is that you have nobody in your fucking life. There is no such thing as the Yeti community. It doesn't exist. It's as fictional as Yetis themselves, as a matter of fact. Oh, this guy's pissed at Yeti. That's how, to, how about that for a joke, huh? What's that again? That's like a Tom Myers. <laughs> What's that again? The Yeti friendship. Uh-huh. It's like that's about as that's about as real as Bigfoot. That's pretty it's, good. Or Yeti, whatever. Yeah, the Yeti. Yeah, this guy's mad because. He, He's bought his second M20 and it's had the same problem. I think it's. Oh, time. I saw that post. With I the think bag. it's time for a recall. Like, love th- no, because <laughs> read the whole post because it starts off with love Yeti stuff and I'll always buy their products. But I'm upset about that. You, I know what you want the bag that's like too inflated or something. And then there's a bunch of guys angry being like, that's not a defect. You got to heat the bag up in the oven to fix it. It's like, what? you just don't know the tricks. These people. <laughs> yeah, this there's isn't one guy, a defect. It happened one guy, to my husband as, as well. There. There was just one, leave it open. There was one guy on there. I saw it. Was, I just glanced at it briefly. It was like, my car exploded. My car blew up, but the Yeti cooler, and he pours out, and there's still ice in there. And they're all like, wow. And it's like, bro, you almost died. <laughs> <laughs> fucking well time to post on the yeti subreddit about how great my cooler is after my truck fucking exploded well, before it man. spontaneously combusted and almost burned to death the firemen are in the background working oh yeah guy's truck exploded mm-hmm. but is it yet it's still gonna <laughs> Oh God! The fire department's there. They're there. They're th- the fire department is literally. They have a hose. They're p- <laughs> they're putting his fire out. He's making mm-hmm. a video. <laughs> yeah, somebody should post on there. Yeah, if you're a photographer, you figure out how to do it. We've got my Yeti cup, right? And then it's you know the Yeti cups in focus, and yeah. in the back, just out of focus, it's his son hanging from a rafter, <laughs> dead. He's killed himself. My family, my entire family's killed themselves. Check out my new 46 ounce Rambler I got. <laughs> Just another beautiful day on the Yeti subreddit. Oh my God. The w- Wait, what does this mean? When the wife moves in and you got to make room in the kitchen and it's like a fucking plastic storage bin with 80 Yeti cups yeah, in it. Yeah, there's no But wife. what does it mean that his wife has moved in? It means that there's no That his no wife, wife was it, living elsewhere? It doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't there's mean no anything wife. because there's no wife. <laughs> it's a lie. He just put all, he got evicted from his efficiency apartment and he's moving back into his mom's house. And so he needed to put the Yeti coolers into a, a fucking Rubbermaid. And you know how upset he is that he didn't have a Yeti cooler to put those cups in? Actually, zoom in on that. See if it's a Yeti cooler filled with Yeti cups. No, it looks like a like a Rubbermaid yeah. storage. Bin. You know this fucking guy's packing that thing up and he's just he's yeah. he's just thinking, "What okay, what time does Dick sport in good clothes?" <laughs> if I could t- if I could measure these Yeti cups, I could go there now and I could get a Yeti cooler to put all my cups in. <laughs> What is the color at the blue end of the can opener box is resting on? The very bottom corner, the one kind of hidden near the top. No, it's essentially two rows the right. This guy's just trying to find a special color. Mm-hmm. This, is, this is just like, this is what happens. These are just people with beanie baby brain. <laughs> it's fucking, it's an entire generation. <laughs> like all the same shit that caused furries. Because furries didn't exist. But, they, but they, I kind of feel like they think that Yeti is tactical. I don't think it's a tactical thing. I think it's mostly hinges on the hidden color aspect. Get the collectible. Those, get those tools out and build a shelf in the man cave. And then the, the OP says, that's definitely part of the future plan. That's part of the plan. <laughs> Step one, get a job. <laughs> Step one is have any, literally anything else in your life other than cups. Collectible cups. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. These guys. I really do love, I really do love the water bottle. I'm not, I'm not talking shit about the company. Yeah. I'm talking shit about these. Well, we're we trying to, we're trying to snatch a sponsorship. Oh my God. I, I mean, they are it. good. They're good. It's a good, yeah, I don't know. I don't have nothing to compare it to. I love it. I just wanted to do something nice. This guy's taking a, a picture of his Highlands Olive collection next to 
his electric mm-hmm. electric bike. Yeah, my Highlands Olive collection. <laughs> These guys are always in the garage. There's always in a garage in some like prefab house in a development in like the middle of right, fucking but Arizona. Right, with these kind of floors, right? Yeah, the kind yeah. that you don't drive on. Yeah, like epoxy uh, yeah, yeah. cement floor. Yeah, so you like park outside. Yeah, yeah. My friend's dad used to have floors like that. We used to get drunk in that garage, and then he'd get mad at us. You're that's gonna so fuck up my floors. That's so cool, dude. Yeah, dude. When you go to work dressed as dressed like a Yeti water bottle. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the teacher. Yeah, she's fat as shit. Yeah, she's fat as shit, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's, that, I saw that post. That one made me laugh. <laughs> Did she put the emoji over her face? <laughs> so no one discovers her. I guess I, it's smart of her, honestly. You're taking a picture of her fat body. <laughs> <laughs> game recognized game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Curves finally refunded my three years of gym membership after they went out of business, and I treated myself to a Yeti cool, Yeti tumbler. Dude, this is so sad. Mm-hmm. I can't stop looking for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, I got real into it. I was oh, into this guy's got a bull. He's got like a fake bull head that he could put on his cooler so he yeah. could practice roping on it. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like their branding is that it's not for pussies. Is it? And it's like for people that like like uh, van life and stuff and mm-hmm. glamping. Yeah, that's kind of their brand, and that's why these fucking dipshits get them. Yeah, these fucking these fucking pieces of shit. Girlfriend hooked me up for our anniversary. He got a Yeti <laughs> hoodie for his girlfriend. <laughs> Yeti hoodie. That's out. Las Vegas Raiders hoodie. That's in. Dude, we just won our second game this mm-hmm. weekend. Let's go. Yeah, I've been wearing that, that Raiders hoodie for like a week and a half straight. Do people want to talk about it all the Dude, time? it's funny because I'll go do shows and like people try and mog me afterwards about not changing my clothes or whatever. And it's yeah. like, yeah, I don't have to. I don't have a boss, dude. I haven't brushed my teeth in fucking two weeks. <laughs> and you have to talk to me while I sit here smelling like shit. That's yeah, like, you just paid money yeah. to watch me. I'm, I'm wearing literally seven different types of vegan salsa on my clothes. Yeah. And I, nobody can tell me. Nobody can fire me. Yeah, you're a dumb bitch. Mm-hmm. That's great, dude. I'm happy your shows were good. Dude, it was so fun. Everyone, th- if you came out, thank you. Even if you didn't, thank thank you, Minneapolis. You love it there, dude. It's it was just, it's, it's such a charming, nice place. It was great. Yeah, I had yeah. such a great. It's time. like a city. Yeah, it's very pretty too. Just walking around. I mean, I was standing like bullshit downtown. And I guess it's like you really get a sense of perspective when you go to like other, like, you know, you spend the weekend in Minneapolis, or not Minneapolis, Indianapolis. Yeah. And that's like. Cleveland's sad. Yeah. Cleveland is like, but the comedy club is right by that one street after fucking, where they're trying to make it happen. After Nash, after Buffalo and Nashville and fucking, to the extent that I was in, Nashville's hell I was in Houston, Texas, of all places. Yeah. Walking around being like, nah, Houston's all right. Really? You know how low you have to Downtown get? Houston? I don't know. I I guess they do have a downtown. They do have a downtown. Houston's just it's like LA. It's just sprawling. You can't walk, yeah. 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 Cool cool cars in Houston though. Well like like lifted shit. Um lifted suspension shit. I saw a Ferrari three forty eight. That was cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I get that. Are you gonna get an exotic vehicle one day? Shall I become a Ferrari guy? Hell yes. No. And you should wear all Ferrari clothes. I'm going to get a cigarette boat. That's going to be a move. That's so sick. Dude. Yeah. I'm going to get a million dollar racing boat. You got to do the move that the that he does in, in uh, what do you call it? In, uh, Honestly, the best the vehicle. The Colin Farrell move. The best vehicle is fan boat. Yeah. I, I moved down to the Everglades. I got a fan boat. It would be so sick. And I'm like, hey, see you later, alligator. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being chased by alligators. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to wear my wear my Raiders my hoodie <laughs> <laughs> with nine Yeti cups on the dash of the speedboat. Just live streaming directly to the Yeti subreddit. <laughs> See you later, alligators. I, They're like, I wow, Mr. Tumblers. Minneapolis is the coolest guy on the Yeti subreddit. 